Gimp Vids and Gimpology present a tutorial on how to make your photos look like a Hollywood movie. The first step is to lower the saturation of the image. Go to Colors, Hue Saturation, and set the saturation to about negative 50. Next, we adjust the image by playing with the curves. Go to Colors, Curves, and make the curve look something like this, sort of like an S. Next, we want to create depth of field. So we want most of the image to be blurry except for a sharp focal point. So duplicate the background layer and blur it. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and 5 pixels is fine. Click OK. Now we want to see the sharp background layer that's under this. So create a layer mask. Now we need a brush that's about as big as our canvas. If you don't have this brush, it's okay, you can create it. Go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click Brushes. Then click New Brush. Give your new brush a name, and set the radius to something around the size of your canvas. So mine is just over 400. I'm going to set it to 400. And set the hardness to zero. Make sure your foreground color is black, select your brush tool, and now you can click wherever you want the image to be sharp. I'm going to choose this sign right here. And now it's sharp. Next, let's add a vignette to the image, which will give us soft black borders. Create a new layer, fill it with black, and set the opacity to around 70. You can use another layer mask, or you can just select your eraser, and with the same brush that you just created, click in the center a couple of times to create your vignette. Next, let's add some noise to the image. Go to Image, Flatten Image, to combine all your layers. Then go to Filters, Noise, RGB Noise. Make sure independent RGB is unchecked and you want to reduce the level of noise to 0.04. Click OK. Finally, to give it that final touch, we want to create the black bars. So click the rectangular select tool, create a new layer, and add a black bar at the top by selecting and filling with black. Duplicate this layer and then just move it down to create your bottom bar. And you're done. You can further change the mood of the image by going to Colors, Color Balance, and shifting the sliders around. For example, to make the image more cool, I can shift the slider over to the cyan, Ta-da! You're done. For more GIMP tutorials, visit GIMPvids.com or GIMPology.com. Thank you for watching.